वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स क्लास प्लस टू सी यस बेटा वे आर गोइंग टू फाइन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वेरी न्यू चैप्टर इवान राइज एंड ओ लेवल एंड यू नो इफ यू मिस दिस इंट्रोडक्शन यू वॉन्ट बीबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग आउट ऑफ दिस सो इट इज अ कॉम्प्लीकेटेड स्ट्रक्चर बट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू मेक आउट yes so characters firstly uh evans or james rodrick evans is his full name fine and you can call him evans only so he is the protagonist fine that that you can see basically the name of the protagonist can be found uh, in the title so evans tries an o level is the name of the chapter evans is our protagonist then we have the governor of hm prison oxford so oxford mein hm prison ka jo governor hai the main head or the managing the things and all he is the governor he is second important character in the story fine so it is he is equivalent to ivan's character that's why i have written another important character fine so these two characters you cannot miss ivan's and the governor of hm prison then we have the secretary of examination board let me introduce these characters later on because firstly i will tell you what this chapter is all about this is a detective fiction uh what is a fiction in which you know which is not true fiction is you know that hooked up stories in which uh imaginary things are there not real okay that is called fiction but this is a detective fiction you know that you might have seen cid you might have seen uh, many such shows in which a lot of you know uh brainstorming is there who has done this and they kept on searching for the culprit and at the end of the day the big shock is there find that sort of detective fiction it is clear how he is going to uh, uh, actually this is the account of the jail break what is a jail break uh, when a prisoner sneaks away from the jail runs away from the jail that is known as jail break so this chapter is actually an account of the jail break by the protagonist that is evans james rodrick evans so how he escapes from the jail that was you know marvelous the way he we should never you know praise the culprit so then but we should praise him because of his uh, you can say intelligence his smartness and the way he manages the things fine so story deals with the planning and foresight of the protagonist only you know smart people though we you know he has channelized himself negatively evans that he is going to run away from the jail or you can say that hm prison oxford but uh, this story will teach you lot of new things also like planning and plotting and foresightedness and being a keen observer one should be keen observer only then that person will be able to uh, you know make decisions in life so planning and plotting are part and parcel of everyone's life so he is very smart that he outwits most of the intelligent department of the police governor was one smart man and the other characters now let me tell you the secretary of the examination board clear uh, why exam now you might be thinking that we are talking about jail jail break and what is all about examination board and all so let me tell you the name of the chapter is evans tries an o level what is this o level o level is actually uh, it, it is being used for an exam in german language fine you uh, o level means base level fine base level and uh, actually he is going to appear for one of the exams in german language he is taking exam for base level of german language fine because prisoners do have the right to continue their education and further their education so ivan has this plan in his mind and he has taken up one exam that is o level exam for german language is that clear to you all what do you mean by those who have joined just recently is it clear what is an o level in this chapter otherwise you won't be able to and it is not written anywhere in the whole chapter what is o level otherwise clear so o level is that base level exam of german language clear so which ivan is going to take but he is a prisoner remember so you know the authorities of the jail they cannot say no to such prisoners if they want to further their education they cannot say no to them so they have to follow what prisoner is seeking the uh, education or not so secretary of the examination board they have for that purpose who will be arranging everything you know the examination head you can say so secretary of examination board is there then these two characters also 
uh, they will be active enough in this chapter jackson and stephens jackson and stephens both are prison officers who have been appointed on the duty to have a look on events events is the prisoner fine jinhone abhi join kiya let me tell you events uh, is the prisoner in hm prison fine and these two officers have been appointed the duty to have a look upon him that whether he is there or not what he is up to because he's very clever ivans has already you know made his escape successfully in the past so everybody knows ki bhag jayega so that's why very tight security and planning and plotting is going on and then we have mcclery revered mcclery who's uh, uh, his full name is stuart mcclery mcclery is the invigilator of the exam if you can see on the board mcclery is the invigilator of exam who is supposed to uh, uh, be there when exam takes place abhi aur bhi characters hain but these are the ones which will be uh, prominent and quite active in this chapter clear so the story that's why i call this is detective fiction account of the jailbreak will be there story deals with planning and foresight and smartness of the protagonist clever escape of a prisoner so but at the same time let me tell you this character the governor of hm prison is equally in clever equally a uh, smart and good observer just like evans so he will also evans is thinking that he is the most clever person on this earth but governor will do something at the end in that way that i'm not going to disclose right now but who will have the last laugh this word you have to remember beta throughout the chapter maine bar bar use karna hai last laugh it doesn't mean laugh means hasna you know that who if i ask you at the end who had the last laugh maine abhi iska answer nahi dena but what does it mean who has the last laugh mean who has the last to win finally who wins at the end whether evans will be able to escape from the prison or he is thinking that he is going to run but governor uh, of hm prison oxford he is going to uh, out of it uh, you can say evans and he will have the last laugh fine so i will be asking you people that who has the last laugh at the end who has the last final win is that clear to you all please send me thumbs up for that if if any doubt i can repeat because i need to start the chapter now i'll be showing you one picture also but please be sincere in telling me is it clear introduction kisi character mein koi problem hai you can ask me you can type in the chat box i will repeat no problem okay so all of you are saying kartik you have joined now Oh, huh? so you might miss the introduction. So please see the recorded lecture later on. I won't be able to repeat again and again. Clear, Karthik? Okay, so be punctual. Very difficult chapter it is. You have to be very vigilant about this. Uh, let me show you one picture here. So this is the uh, you can say introduction part. See. Evans tries an O level is a story of a criminal named Evans. Fine, this is the basic introduction of the chapter. In this story, Colin Dexter, Colin Dexter is the writer of this chapter. Marvelous man he is, because the person who has written the story in such a eerie details are given and complexity is given, but even then, very smart move is presented, and it means writer is smart enough. Fine characters are smart, and so writer nahi likhe obviously. So he is the Colin Dexter is the writer. He shows how an individual is able to shake the entire police department with his cleverness and ingenuity. Means how smart he is, how clever he is, and how far sightedness he has. That how he plans the things nobody can plans. Fine. So please. Take notes of this thing. Whatever is written on the board, characters and and introduction part. अभी मैंने आपसे theme discuss नहीं करी है. Okay, I will be discussing tomorrow. I have just introduced the characters to you and what we are going to read in the story uh, about the cleverness of the protagonist, about smartness, about these characters and all. Fine. So this is uh, more into the introduction of the chapter. You can see the jail here. and one prisoner sitting there holding his head in the hands so this is just a symbolic of how ivans uh, you know is there in the jail and how he is going to uh, give 
practical shape to his plans. So he has the plan of an escape and how smartly he will be making an escape that is to be read in the story. Okay. So shall we continue? Rasika will read it for us today. Shall we, let's start. Please open your books. Screen is visible. Should criminals in prison be given the opportunity of learning and education? So this is very good question actually. Uh, screen visible a bit up. Yes. Should criminals in prison be given the opportunity of learning and education? Before we start, aapko kya lagta hai? That criminals jo hote hai, should, shall they get the opportunity uh, or not? What do you think? Yes, Samyak. <coughs> Excuse me. Samyak, please unmute yourself and tell, do you think that unko opportunity milni chahiye ki nahi milni chahiye? Yes, Samyak Jain, I asked you one question. Very simple question. It's your opinion based. Koi facts nahi puchye mene. Those who are not answering beta, wo unko absent hi hai mere liye. Make sure. Karthik, do you think criminals should get the opportunity of learning? Simple question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, according to why so? Uh, Ma'am, because uh, if criminals go get education or learning the opportunity, will get it. So then, when they get out of jail, they will get their respectable earning and live a good life. Okay, according to Karthik, uh, if they come out of the jail and uh, if they are, you know, if they are getting opportunities of learning and education during. Uh, their, you can say, uh, time in the prison, and definitely they will have uh, good opportunities of earning. Fine. Why do they get into the jail? Obviously, they have looted someone, or have they have killed someone, or they have criminal kind of acts, or they didn't have good deeds. And maybe most of the times, the reason behind is money and lack of education. So when they get education, you know that in Indian prisons also there is provision of learning. It is right of the prisoners to further their education, to, to learn further, fine. And n number of courses, skill-based courses, education-based courses, and many other courses are being provided to them. It's the, uh, you can say sometimes it is compulsory, the basic skills, fine. And sometimes it is optional. It is one's own uh, wish if he would like to, because kitne saal unko jail mein agar hai, so obviously they need to have one proper transformation uh, opportunities. So yes, they, they should get, definitely they should get this learning opportunities because say uh, they will be able to understand the life uh, and if they will be able to earn money also and they will not repeat the criminal acts in future also. So some positivity if they get a chance to learn, fine. So yes, one should get opportunity. So let's continue. Uh, where is Rasika? Rasika, please raise your hand. If I, I can unmute you, otherwise I'm not able to see you. Yes, Rasika, please uh, read it for me. Dramatis persona means characters. These are the characters of this chapter. The secretary of the examination board, the governor of HM prison, Oxford, James Evans, a prisoner, Mr. Jackson, a prison officer, Mr. Stephens, a prison officer, the Reverend S. McClary, an invigilator, Mr. Carter, 
detective superintendent mr bell detective chief inspector so these characters will come later on in the chapter so that's why carter and mr bell i have not mentioned baki ke characters i have already introduced to you so let's read the chapter now check uh, characters you know already yes all precautions have been taken to see to it that the o level german examination arranged in the present for revans does not provide him any means of escape so the this these lines show that that all precautions or every uh, you can say planning is uh, and plotting is done by the police authorities every precaution is taken uh, to see that the o level german exam arranged in the prison does not provide him with an any means of escape actually so in the beginning we got to know that ivans is going to appear in the o level german exam o level means the base level abhi usne start hi kara hai german seekhna and he's going to appear in the o level german exam but at the same time during the exam people will be coming from outside uh, exam will be arranged he will be getting opportunity to run away so they have taken each and every precaution ki wo bhag na jaye wahan se bas there is no any way of escape so let's read what happens yes rasika it, it was in early march when the secretary of examination board received the call from oxford prison it's a slightly unusual request governor but i don't need help just the one fellow you say that's it chap called ivan started night classes in o level german last september says he's dead he's dead keen to get some sort of academic qualification so uh, it was the time is of the early march beginning of the march is there when the secretary of the examination board you know he received the call from oxford prison so you i told you that examination bo uh, board jo hai wo alag hai and jail oxford prison that is different so secretary of the examination board the person who has to arrange everything papers and everything jaise aapke exam hote hai to you might see that one bag is there na the bag aata hai when teachers are standing and then teachers open that bag at the time when bell goes then they count the papers and required things are there in that bag sometimes stamping is there jenare board exam aapne abhi recently liye so many things many particulars formalities are there na so in that way a secretary of the examination board who has to you know prepare everything for the exam usko call aati hai oxford prison se so it's a slightly unusual request to governor but i don't see why we should try to help just the one fellow you say so he is saying that he why should we put in efforts to wo governor usko phone karta hai find to whom governor of hm prison oxford to the secretary of examination board that you know there is one man in our prison his name is james rodrick evans and he wants to appear for this uh, o level exam so aage se wo keh raha just one man and you need to arrange everything for just one man that's it chap means boy right chap means boy he is his name is evans and you know he has already for oxford prison ka jo governor hai he informs the secretary of the exam that you know he has started night classes so he has taken up night classes for o level german last september pichle saal hi and he is so much interested in getting some sort of academic qualification so you know we cannot say no to the prison prisoners if they want to further their education तो उसको अगर कोई एजुकेशन फर्दर करनी है अपनी तो वी कैनॉट से नो सो दैट्स व्हाई ही हैज टू अपीयर देन यहां से पढ़िए रसिका ही इज दिस इज द कन्वर्सेशन बेटा बिटवीन अ गवर्नर ऑफ ऑक्सफोर्ड प्रिजन एंड सेक्रेटरी एग्जामिनेशन इज ही एनी गुड ही वाज द ओनली वन इन द क्लास सो यू कैन से ही इज ही इज हैड इंडिविजुअल ट्यूशन all the time really would have cost him a packet if he would be in outside well let's give him a chance shall we that's jolly kind of you what's exactly the procedure now oh don't worry about that i'll be sending you all the forms and stuff what's his name you say ivan 
James Roderick Evans. It sounded rather grand. Just one thing, Governor. <clears throat> He's not a violent sort of fellow, is he? I don't want to know his criminal record or anything like that. But now, no, see, there's now, no wait, record wait, of violence. Wait, 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 wait. So this conversation between Governor of the HM Prison and uh, Secretary of the Board exams going on. So Secretary of the Board exam is having a lot of, you know, apprehensions about ki ek hi person ke liye you have arranged tuition classes inside the jail agar wo bahar hota it would have cost him a packet ki itna difficult hai bahar german level ka o level course it's very costly and you are providing and arranging that's a good jolly kind of you means it's so nice of you that you have arranged classes of german exam for this uh, boy named ivans so wo kehta hai okay tell me what i'm supposed to do in this now secretary of exam Asked the governor. Governor, कहता है कोई बात नहीं. Don't worry about this. So I will send each and every form and stuff. So what is the name of this man? He says James Roderick Evan. So then, uh, you know, secretary of the exam, uh, he was apprehensive that whether he is a violent sort of prisoner. कैसा का है? Sometimes you know prisoners are very violent. They can attack the person who's there <coughs> just to sneak away from the place and all. so he asked the criminal record kata i don't want to know the criminal record or anything but you know koi aisa to nahi hai ki he can attack me or he can attack our authorities if i come there on that day hamara jo invigilator aayega us din exam lene uska he can attack that person so he was you know having doubts about the safety of his invigilator so that's why secretary of the board exam he asked the governor ki kaisa insaan hai evans can he you know stab someone or what sort of personality he is fine so this conversation moves on yes continue rasika no there's no record of violence quite a pleasant sort of chap they tell me <clears throat> bit of a card really one of the stars at the christmas concert imitation to you know sort of thing mike yardbut stuff no he's just a congenital kleptomaniac that's all the governor was tempted to add something else but he thought better of it he would look after that particular side of things himself so wait wait here, wait here so now let me tell you beta see now if you read this chapter all alone aapko kuch samajh mein nahi aane wala ye kya keh rahe hain aapas mein baat so let me tell you here please be uh, attentive enough so that governor answers to the question of secretary of board exam wo kya keh raha hai kehta no he is not a violent sort of a criminal he is not that kind of prisoner he is a pleasant sort of you know pleasant personality hai is ki chap ki is boy ki and what i know about him and why he was caught into the prison just he was into the playing cards you know bad habits and uh, then he uh, tried to steal Uh, you know stars at the christmas concert ko christmas concert chal raha tha wahan pe usne stars chori kare the imitations you know means this man does not have that criminal record that he had killed someone ye he is not that person murderer nahi hai ye he is a kind of leptomaniac what do you mean by this word beta leptomania is the problem of stealing the things out of habit clear kuch log hote hai na Uh, हम उसको कहते हैं कि ही इज लेप्टोमैनियक लेप्टोमैनियक मीन्स ही पर्सन डज नॉट यू नो डू ग्रैंड स्टीलिंग और गो समवेयर एंड लूट समवन अ बैंक लूट के आ गया नो लेप्टोमैनियक्स आर द पीपल हु हैव द हैबिट ऑफ स्टीलिंग जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ स्टीलिंग दे कैन नॉट स्टॉप यू नो दे गो टू अ फंक्शन दे विल स्टील एन ईटेबल दे विल गो टू अ फंक्शन ऑफ एम डेकोरेशन स्टफ दे आर स्टीलिंग वेर एवर दे गो दे हैव दिस हैबिट ऑफ डूइंग स्मॉल थीवरी you know petty thieves choti choti choriyan jisko keh dete hain so they are called lept and there is no need one more uh, uh, clause added into this that there is no need for that stealing also aisi chori ki koi zarurat bhi nahi hoti hai even then they do it so then we call them leptomaniacs so jo evans hamara hai he is having that sort of uh, background so he is not that criminal uh, he is not a murderer so who is asking let me tell you stop here आप बताइए मुझे राणा गुरजीत जो बच्चे सुन रहे हैं मैं उनको ही पूछूंगी सो हु कन्वर्सेशन 
कौन कौन कर रहे यू जस्ट नेम द पीपल हु आर कन्वर्सिंग विद वन अनदर मिस राना गुची आर यू देयर मैं क्वेश्चन रिपीट करना नेटवर्क स्लो ओके ओके आई आस द क्वेश्चन दैट द कन्वर्सेशन इज गोइंग बिटवीन डैश एंड डैश secretary of examination board and governor of hm prisoner yes very prison good. yes yes fine fine clear hai sabko means you should have that uh, presence of mind in the chapter otherwise kuch samajh mein nahi aane wala clear so those who have joined it today beta please join it tomorrow also clear we have 2 3 minutes but let's uh, let me tell you uh, more about this character so governor was tempted to add something else governor ko tha main kuch bataun aur iske bare mein बट ही थॉट रहने देता हूँ दिस सेक्रेटरी ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन विल बी स्केयर आउट ऑफ दिस सो ही विल फाइंड आउट यू नो ऑन हिज ऑन वेन ही विल कम हियर सो प्रिजम्बली सेट द सेक्रेटरी यू कैन अरेंज अ रूम वेर सो द सेक्रेटरी इज टेलिंग दैट वट ही नीड्स नाउ जब उसका इन्विजिलेटर आएगा ही वॉन्ट्स अ प्रॉपर रूम फॉर द एग्जाम टू बी टेकन प्लेस नो प्रॉब्लम ही इज इन अल ऑन हिज ऑन इफ यू हैव नो ऑब्जेक्शन यू कैन सिट द एग्जाम in there so uh, further governor says that there is no problem already he is sitting in a separate room a proper cell is there you know and he will be sitting there only to take exam uh, you know we never say beta aap hamesha kehte ho na that i'm going to give exam it is always wrong you know that exams are always taken <coughs> not given i'm going to take tuitions i'm going to take classes i'm going to take exam so in that way it means you're going to appear in that okay always remember so he is going to take exam over there and we could easily get one of the parsons from saint mary max to invigilate now who are the parsons uh you know they they have now they're talking about who will be invigilating him during the exam though it is one person they have to find out the invigilator you know you know that during the board exams when even one child was left we cannot make him sit in the you can say when 12, 12 students were there in one room and we could not add one more because as per the instructions of cbsc we were following for even one child we had one invigilator we cannot think that kyunki he is sitting alone he can't do anything no this is a system even though he is a prisoner in that is a system of examination that one invigilator has to be there to instruct the person or candidate who's appearing in the exam so aaj mere aur nahi batana hai aapko further we will not read thank you rasika for reading uh, let me conclude the introduction part here only those who have joined later on so this chapter abhi sirf introduction hui hai chapter story to bhi shuru honi hai hamari so it is very interesting story when you will complete this reading you know you will really like it you will really relish uh, आपको ये समझ में नहीं आएगा शेल वी लव दिस करेक्टर ऑफ इवेंट्स फॉर इज स्मार्टनेस एंड यू नो दैट फॉर इज कीन ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड विटी रिमार्क्स एंड बीइंग वेरी क्लेवर हेडेड पर्सोना और वी शुड हेट हिम फॉर हिज आउट विटिंग द यू कैन से सिस्टम पॉलिटिकल सॉरी पॉलिस सिस्टम एंड द ऑल द ऑफिसर्स विल बी मैड आफ्टर हिम एंड वॉट विल हैपन वेरी क्लेवर स्केप वी विल रीड those who love to watch detective shows and they will be you know getting this chapter in a very nice way they, they will understand they will relish it actually so very good uh, chapter it is actually if you listen to it carefully theek hai jitna humne kiya hai sabko clear hai send me thumbs up jaldi se i'm going to end the meet sabko clear ho gaya beta doubt to nahi hai koi bhi because if we carry the doubts further we will not be able to understand the next part so this is just the introduction so do watch it we are uh, uploading the lectures also those who uh, do not uh, uh, you can say they could not join well in time they can see the introduction again fine have a nice day beta